Today's video is going to be what not to do and what to do when you get new spark plugs for any car, not just specific to the car that I have, the 2 liter turbo Genesis Coupe. So I have copper auto light spark plugs for my Hyundai Genesis Coupe 2 liter turbo and what I've seen is a lot of people they will get their spark plug of choice, they will go home and they'll take their spark plugs out they won't even check the gap. Uh, that's what this is for. This is just a mini set of feeler gauges. They'll just take them out like this and uh, put them in the car and call it good. And then when they wonder what's wrong with their car and why it doesn't run correctly. So one thing that I do see is that they'll say on Facebook, oh, well, they come pre-gapped, so I shouldn't have to do anything to them. And I heard that uh, Iridium spark plugs are not supposed to be gapped because you could break off the little tip right here on the electrode and a handful of other things. Well, you're supposed to because uh, straight out of the box, straight out of these right here, um, it might not be the right gap that your car calls for. So that means that, what, you're just gonna put them in and hope that it runs good? Hope that it doesn't misfire or whatever? No, you're supposed to check, you're supposed to check the gap because every plug comes with a gap in between the electrode tip and the ground strap right here. So it's not, weld your own ground strap to your spark plug and you have to weld it so that it is at the gap that you need it to because that'd be pretty much impossible but anyways uh on my hyundai genesis coupe i have a bigger stock turbo and all the other bolt-ons you know intercooler kit intake turbo back exhaust and um water meth injection kit on it and it's tuned. So you're supposed to get one step colder spark plugs and the Iridium plug that is the go-to plug is the NGK2309. Well, when you are tuned, you're supposed to set the gap to 0 0.028. So that means that you're more than likely going to have to make the gap smaller, shorter in between the electro tip and the ground strap. So my feeler gauge right here has one that is exactly that, 0 0.028. So let's see if, uh, okay. So I got the 0 0.028 feeler gauge right here. So I put it in here, oh my gosh. It goes in there and there's no resistance. So that means I'm gonna have to close the gap in between the ground strap and the electrode tip. So all that I do, and you might not agree with this and that's your, that's your, um, your opinion and that's fine. You're allowed to have your opinion. So I just go like that until I close it enough and then I keep checking it again and again and again and well looks like I closed it a little too much
Alright, so I got a gap. It's a little bit of resistance here to put it in. So 0 0.028 and look the the copper tip is still there let me get closer I didn't break it off I didn't damage it in any way shape or form So again, there we go, there's the point zero twenty eight. Okay, there we go. And it goes in. There's a little bit of resistance on it. So 0 0.028, nothing happened to it, no harm, no foul, okay, and you're going to do that to every single one of them, because more than likely, all of them are not going to be gapped to 0 0.028, which again is what the tuned two liter turbo Genesis coupe calls for. So this slides right in and slides right out. There's no resistance for it. There's no resistance. So again, a little bit of that. Close it some more. Okay, it's getting a little, little bit of resistance there. Well, a little bit more. From resistance, so that's again 0 0.028, next one, so on and so forth. So, what happens when the gap is too far apart? There's a thing called spark plug blowout or well, spark blowout, so that will cause misfires and it won't run correctly. And that's because, again, someone just bought spark plugs, threw the spark plugs in without checking for the gap, and then it's not going to work correctly. So instead of having to do the work twice, you just do it right the first time and actually uh, make it seem like you actually give a shit about your car and you just again do it right the first time so these are gapped to point zero thirty six right out of the box so that's not going to work for even a stock untuned Genesis coupe because the gap is too far away. And it's definitely going to have a hard time working on a, uh, on a tuned Genesis coupe. So there we go. All of them were gapped correctly. Right out of the box. I didn't break anything, I didn't ruin anything. Uh, 
So I have in a previous video on why I use these Autolite spark plugs that are copper. Um, you can go watch that video and see why I do that. But uh, So instead of using the NGK2309 Iridium plugs, I use these. And all I did was just cross-reference the NGK2309 spark plug and these are what came up as suitable replacements. But uh, copper conducts electricity better than any other metal type that's out there. Um, the trade-off is that these don't last as long as some of the other like platinums, iridiums, and ruthenium, or however you say the newest one that they're using. But um, these are only I think three dollars and fifty cents per spark plug so there's the trade-off there and just like a lot of other things when someone buys a product either aftermarket or OEM and they fail to understand how to properly install it and things don't go the right way they'll get on the uh, social media platforms and they'll tend to trash them but without knowing that it was actually their fault so I know a lot of the people on the forums uh, they would specifically trash the auto light one and I know for a fact that that's due to user error again without setting the uh, proper gap the spark plug is not gonna it's not gonna be able to to do its job correctly and those are the people that don't care about to, you know about learning about their car and how to keep it running properly and maintaining it so instead of just taking the time to do their research and learning how to gap properly and you know how to do this and how to do that they just do it the way that they're going to do it and then again it doesn't work so then they just take to social media and they trash the company and uh, then they end up taking it somewhere else to have it professionally installed or they'll figure out oh hey maybe I should have gapped the spark plugs and then they'll gap them and then they won't make a follow-up post or a video or whatever saying that they did take them back out and they gapped them correctly and they put them back in there or they went with another brand and then they gapped them correctly or had someone else gap them correctly and put them in there. So then we're left with the information that's out there which is auto lights or another XYZ brand whatever part sucks and then everyone just stays away from the brands whatever part that the person had uh, installed that it ran terrible so then they continue to talk shit about them and this is the other people that come across that info without actually giving them a chance or doing it but like I said this is my second set of auto lights and it's the uh, the part number uh, 5325 I got them from AutoZone and um, they've worked flawlessly again I have a 2011 Hyundai Genesis Coupe with the Gen Coupe Store modified stock turbo all the bolt-ons water meth injection kit intake blow-off valve intercooler kit, turbo back exhaust, and uh, 525cc fuel injector clinic injectors, and then Gen Coupe stores tuned for that setup. And I've had no problems. They ran great, and uh, yeah, so that's it.